Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to Vlogmas. And I have another Chicago bookstore vlog for you. This video was chosen by my Bibliothecary supporters, so every month my Bibliothecary supporters get to vote in a poll for a video topic that I'll do. For Vlogmas, they got to choose six of the topics. There are a ton of other perks in addition to that, so if you're interested in contributing to my content in that way and supporting me, I will leave the Bibliothecary on the screen. So I managed to go to three more bookstores. So if you haven't seen the first vlog, I will link that up above, and I do plan on doing probably at least one more bookstore vlog, and then that will have had me hitting all of the ones I really want to go to. Hoping I can do that maybe like January, February. We'll see. But let's get into the bookstores. All right, so as far as the ranking of the bookstores for this time around, I'm gonna tell you sort of how I'm ranking all the ones in this video and then all the ones I've been to thus far. So first off, the one that kind of doesn't like count in there, um, Alley Cat Comics is a comic book store that's on a, like a different level uh, than a bookstore and I haven't really been to enough comic book stores to rank those and say like I have a favorite, but I've been to Alley Cat a few times. I like it, it's fine, um, it's not, I mean, I don't even know if I have other comic book stores to really compare it to to say, I liked this one better. Uh, I just haven't found my like home comic book store. It's funny, there is actually one closer to my house that I just haven't had a chance to go to because their hours are a little bit wonky. So I'm curious to try a few more of those out. Maybe that'll land in the last um, bookstore vlog as well. But that one's not really like ranked on the list because it's, it's different qualifications and stuff. But they tend to always have um, bind ups and stuff that I want but I also tend to read comics that are pretty popular, so I'm not shocked that they have the things that I like. So first, for bookstores. Uh, Women and Children's First in the Andersonville Uptown area. I've been there before, and I like it. It's a solid bookstore. It reminds me a lot of the one I went to last time, City Lit, uh, in the first vlog. Women and Children's First is one of the first ones that I ever went to in the city, so I do kind of like it for that reason, but I find that it is a little bit more of like, expanded version of City Lit in that it's sort of, you can get anything you really want there. They have like a ton of different like genres and things like that. I like that what they support. Well, obviously you saw like a lot of the things as far as like them making their views very clear. Um, their COVID protocol is really good. Like they have you waiting outside the store and only a certain amount of people in there and they've been that way the whole time. Uh, so that's really cool. But for somebody who likes sci-fi and fantasy, they have a very, very limited selection. And then they also sometimes have like the sci-fi and fantasy like mixed in with other books, like in literary fiction almost, or like general fiction which confuses me, so I never quite find exactly what I'm looking for when I go there. Um, and it's not even a great store for me if I want to just peruse sci-fi and fantasy titles to like be like, oh, I've heard about that or whatever, uh, because they'll just have like a later book in a series or like whatever. They, they have like the standards, right? Um, like all the series that you expect, but maybe not some like up and coming titles or things like that, or like more buzzed about titles. So for my reading tastes, I don't love it as much. They have a pretty decent YA selection, so if I was really reading a lot of YA, they have a pretty decent selection there, and then like just their general fiction, but pretty much any bookstore has a good general fiction selection. 
So um, I like different things about them, um, but they're not really my go-to, but I'm in that area a lot. I have a lot of friends up there, so like they are easy to go to. The second one was Uncharted. This is a store that I've also been to before, but it's a used bookstore. I love the vibes in there and the aesthetic, but they don't have the used book selection that I would want. Again, they focus a little bit more on like, I, I don't know, sort of, uh, it's hard to kind of categorize like a used bookstore in with everything else um, because they just kind of get what the population near them gives them, right? They will sometimes get newer titles apparently. I showed that um, sort of message that I saw when I was there. Um, but again, I'm not going there all the time, whatever. So they're not like my go-to. It's cute in there. Um, it, it just, it feels very like old bookstore, you know, e. Um, but it's not my go-to for actually finding titles that I'm interested in reading. And the last one was actually kind of a surprise for me. I'd didn't even know about Roscoe Book until I was just googling bookstores and I realized like oh that's a, a store that's like fairly close to me like a little bit easier to get to than some of these other ones. So I tried that one out kind of last minute uh, and I loved this store. Super cute, still kind of small but uh, like the kind of vibes I like. I like when you have um, a lot of like little reviews from the people that work there because you just feel like it's just uh, people are really invested. Most of the bookstores have that in the city but like they, they had that and they had a pretty decent sci-fi fantasy selection. Um, I did end up getting a book when I was there. I will show it in my um, book haul uh, for because I'm gonna do like a Christmas book haul uh, but it's the Inheritance Bind Up by N.K. Jemisin. So they had that. Um, so they had a nice mix of like your standard titles but also like um, The Wolf and the Woodsman was there, The Witch's Heart, like some of these that were like pretty popular like this year plus older titles. There were a couple that like oh they only have like the second book and whatever but there was about like a shelf and a half of titles but they were really like packed in there which was kind of nice so the fact that that one's really close to me i would probably go there out of like ease if i needed to pick up something and like hope especially if it's like a little bit well known um that they would potentially have it so my official ranking for this video is roscoe books is my favorite second favorite is women and children's first and then third would be uncharted um just because it's it's not like quite my scene. Out of all of them that I've visited so far, my favorite still remains Unabridged uh, in Wrigleyville. Love it. I it, They just have everything. They have everything and they have like a really, really good selection. Second favorite is Roscoe Books. Third favorite might be City Lit. City Lit and Women and Children's First are like so similar that I almost have them like equal. Uh, next would be semicolon, not because I don't like love what their store represents and things, but it just has a really, really limited selection. Um, and then last, were there any others that I'm leaving out? No, I think I got all of them. Last of like the six that I visited would be again, uh, Uncharted because it's a used bookstore and like not quite my scene. Uh, but yeah, that's my unofficial ranking thus far with Roscoe Books and Unabridged being my top favorites thus far. So my plans for my next vlog, just so you guys know if you like live in Chicago and you're like, try this bookstore. Um, I am going to go to Myopic. That is a uh, used bookstore, but it's close to me. So it's easy for me to kind of go to. And I think also the other one's called Quimbley's. It's very close. Um, and that's another like kind of niche bookstore. Those are both in like my general neighborhood. Um, so I'm going to be going to those. I'm surprised I haven't gone to them yet to get footage. I've been to both of them before, just haven't gotten footage of them. I do want to check out the bookseller. Um, also 57th Street Books, I want to say is another one. And there might be one more that I'm forgetting. Maybe it might be like that one, Kibitz something. Um, there's a there's a bookstore that's like a bookstore slash bar that I want to get to, but they have kind of wonky hours is why I haven't been able to get to yet. So there's probably like four or five on my list still, and then I've hit the majority of them. If there are any that I haven't included in these previous vlogs um, and that I didn't say just now that you're like, you really need to check these out that are within sort of city limits. I don't want to be going out to the suburbs or anything. Uh, there's just, I'm not going to go out to the suburbs to get books. Um, so if they're within Chicago city limits and you think I should check them out, let me know. But those are the ones that I found via like searching through Google um, for independent bookstores that have new titles. Again, besides the few that I know are used, I'm just kind of stopping by as well, just for, for funsies. So yeah, feel free to leave me recommendations if you live in the Chicago area, what ones you really enjoy. And I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.